からに行って俺は受け継いでたのさ本当にここにザリッパを置いて。First day of the hunt with Deirdre, Nicky. Six in Poland, eh? But eh, we can't see a ram. The wind is perfect; it's completely still, and the sun is behind us. So we've got advantage. We stalked the herd of impala. There's about ten female and one young ram. He's、uh, still too young, not ready to take. It's a perfect setup. We've got no no wind, and the sun is behind us.
we actually approached two herds, two impala herds. There was some kuru, some eland, and uh, we had a shot on a few rams this morning. So tomorrow morning when we come back, we will know where to go. Where to yeah, in this area, there's a, there's a herd of about 15 rams. I get so today, for me, it was quite important. Mm. Although we didn't get anything, um, at least I know in which areas they are and how we should wait, where we should go. Um, it's interesting to see their behaviour there. Mm. And remember, remember when we first started, you said they were going to be quite wild and yeah. frisky. And they were actually quite at peace. Yeah. Impala can be one of the most challenging species to hunt um, and there's two main reasons for that in, in my opinion. One is there's so much predators for them. You know, you've got jackal, you've got caracal, you've got leopard, you've got cheetah, you've got hyena and, and they prey all on the impala. Mm -hmm. Even baboons take, take, take the small um, lambs. Yeah. So they are very, very, very skittish. That's the one thing. Another is they're gregarious animals. So they are in, in large herds and numbers can go up to hundreds. Um, but and were, that gives them a lot of eyes and ears. No, so. exactly that. But they were quite at peace today. Yeah. They, were, they were, you know, we could actually, well, we came close, 200, yeah. 200 meters. Yeah. Uh, they, to that the one, one herd was 100 meters and yeah. they didn't even saw us. Mm -hmm. uh, but we, we, we got them at the, at the right, right spot with the sun at our backs, the Early wind was morning. right. They didn't even know we were there. Mm. Yesterday we, uh, we saw a lot of impala, a few a few big herds, <clears throat> and there's one, one area where we moved through, as you can see the impala is really skittish, but there's a lot of jackal activity there, a lot of predator activity there, we saw uh, leopard tracks there as well. Um, I think this morning what we're going to do is move to another area, I know there's a lot of impala as well, and it's a few bachelor herds, so we might just get a, a, a shooter ram out of them. I think um, yesterday has been fun. Um, the first day is always a bit nerve-wracking. And I was actually scared to you know, just walk and stalk and you know, shoot something because I was scared that I won't be able to, because I'm taking my time still. Yeah. And the guys are quite fast. Yeah. <laughs> so I think today, well, it's okay for me if we walk and stalk and don't get anything immediately. If we go and wait the night, it will give me a bit of time to, you know, position myself. And, yeah concentrate on the
Este es un Suzuki Prati. Any coffee? Check out, sonder moor. Ik zal ver kijken, zoals een koei werd gemeld wordt. Ruik me lekker. Kreinsvechter. Side. That's feeding now. That's ram. You can take that one. Lungs. Crap is over. Well done. Finally, we, we've got we've this done ramp. It. We've done it. Yeah. <laughs> Finally, after a whole day and a lot of stalking, a lot of impala the last two days. <laughs> so, actually, a lot bigger ramps than this one. It's, it's still a young ram. But, uh, we couldn't find the others, but this one is beautiful, beautiful. Yeah, we decided to take him for for some biltong and, yeah. and some. Uh, so the girls drainage. will be quite excited if mommy is bringing some biltong home. Yesterday, Deirdre shot the Impala, and uh, this morning for brunch, Deirdre and Chris are going to prepare a Impala curry liver for us. Yeah, I'm just gonna take a cut of beautiful piece of Impala liver. Um, I'm hungry. I don't know about you guys, but what we're we gonna do is we're gonna use these off cuts. The liver, we can use it to catch some catfish in the Lampopo River. Mm. What can be better than this? Okay, you can add some nice hot curry powder. We're just adding a bit of tomato.
This is the final stage of preparation of your leather. These nice small pieces. It's a nice uh, brioni mix. It's a bit of Indian cocktail that we mix in the box. Cayenne pepper. We love cayenne pepper. And both of spice just kind of good. Fantastic on this toast. Mm. Is it good? Fantastic. <laughs> oh, wow. Thank you, babes. Thank you, dear babe. Thank you. Thanks for mm -hmm. getting us. Thank you for helping me to get it. <laughs> <laughs> and in preparing this. Fantastic, tasty dish. I'm a I'm a big fan of leather. Well, yeah. And this is this is new for me. You can't leather. And, um, no, first time. Mm. Mm. Cheers. Yeah. On that impa impala. Cheers. Okay. Well impala. done. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank you. It is in Namibia for you. I can just keep walking in the oven. It is in the oven up gesnee. En die lever kies om wat breakfast mm. op die kolen gebruik. Mm. Maar nooit het ons carry en die spices en jou goeders en, en jou kruie by jou gegooi nie. Dit is wat het so lekker maak. Hier is die lekkerste brandse my in die bos. Het is nie. Ek heb daar my kinder daar. Aha. En dan al altijd <coughs> ook so lever kies gemaakt. Baie eie, zwart peper en uh, vir een brandse. Mm -hmm. Dit is om pap. Jo.